Welcome back, Pyros, to my Let's Play on Darkest Dungeon. The last episode was crazy. We actually pulled through the uh, clutch play, and we had had a successful run, which has been a while since we had a successful run. So we got some new people here. We got the Hellion class, which we haven't gotten yet. So I'm excited to try that class out. And then we got... Another Highwayman, and then a Jester. And then we have another two Crusaders. So, we're gonna go out with these four right here. And... Well, you know what sucks is we don't have a healer, so... I'm honestly really tempted just to increase the number of available healers to four, so that we get a higher chance of getting a healer. Because, I don't know if we can beat any... Or do any runs with newbies without a single healer. It's just too hard. Oh, damn. We got a level 5 mission right here. Yeah, let's stay away from that. We got the boss. Which you're gonna hold, wait to do. Um, I might just wait to do the boss as soon as we level up. I don't know. Two other members. Because the only t strong members we have right now is uh, Dragon Knight. And Bon and Fant. <laughs> uh, fuck the wilds because the freaking plant people are completely retarded and shit on me all the time. But we do need to get here, go here for deeds, and I really need deeds. So I don't know what to do here. So we can either 100% of the room battles or 90% of the rooms. Same reward. I think 90% of the rooms is easier, because we can dodge a uh, room battle if we have to. So let's go for that. Uh, let's hope we can, you know, have a successful run here. Let's see how the Hellion goes. Hellion's only the front. Okay, so Hellion's going to be in the front. Crusader can be in the second. And we got ourselves this guy right here. And this guy can go anywhere, really, apparently, so he's going to be in the back. Alright! Wish me luck, Pyrus. Uh, hopefully, this will be an easy run. Do we need two shovels? I'll, I'll just take one. Ah, uh, uh, what? No. Yeah. Because we need to save gold. Uh, do we need bandages? I know we're going to need one anti-venom at least. We'll go for a two anti-venom and that, that, that. Uh, let's buy three of these because I think there's a lot of impure things in this area. There's not that many chests. We'll bring one key. And we'll bring six torches. Alright, let's do this. And the last one we did, we didn't even have a, a torch at all. Which is crazy. All right, let's hope we can do this. I knew all these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. All right, so this this goes up for a while over there. Uh, how should we start this? We can skip this room. Maybe. So we can basically knives in the room. Seems we can skip one room. We gotta use a shovel already. Nature herself. So there goes our shovel, and hopefully we won't have to run into any more. Let's see if. We can use this on this. Oh, really? It has no effect. Well, fuck me. That's probably the uh, anti-disease thing. Ding. I don't know what to call it. We got so we actually got loot. We didn't get fucked over. Good. This is actually a pretty big uh, map. Oh. Yep. Here we go. Yeah. What is these bars? If you pyros know any of you, uh, please comment below and let me know. Cause. This guy doesn't have it, which is weird. Alright, so I think since the fungal scratchers. So, these guys are called Eldritch, I think. Human Eldritch. Yeah, so the fungal scratchers do the most damage, so I think we're gonna go for them. And this guy actually has Grape Shot, which is nice. We can go for Grape Shot. Or we can go for a high damage attack. I think we're gonna go for high damage. Oh, that's the least amount of damage you could possibly do. Okay, smart. 
Um, alright, let's look at our attacks. Wicked hack. Um, wait, what does that say? 5% crit modification. So let's just basically her basic um, high damage attack. Iron Swan attacks the guy in the back, does a lot of damage. That's that's nice. Uh, melee class is able to attack people in the back. And if it bleeds, uh, causes bleeding, two points for three turns. I'm standing to it. Oh, damn, that's really good, actually. Uh, bleed out. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, increases damage, crit, but. Oh, and the target bleeds for three. For th oh, that's a lot. But she's reducing damage. Uh, yeah, that sounds like something I would be able to level with. Yep, that worked. He's dead. All right, so she's gonna do less damage, but I'm hoping we're gonna be able to finish it off with the rest of the people. Stress heal three to everyone. Uh, let's just increase their stats. So he's not going to be able to do anything but buff people in the back, which is kind of lame. But hey, I would rather have our high women able to do stuff over here. Alright, one down. Oh! This guy's got different abilities than Dragon Knight. So he's got the Stunning Blow. Holy Lance. Um, and so that's a, that's a long range attack for him. He moves forward one though. Oh, I don't like that at all. I don't like the forward movement ones. Yeah, unless you're situational and you get knocked back or something. Yeah, it's not a bad ability. How much damage do? Yeah, that's actually a really good ability. And inspiring cry, cry heals um, everyone one health. Torch plus five and stress heal. Not the best ability, but it's it's there. These two right, the new abilities are really situational for me, and I think I'm just gonna go smite on him. Take out the next guy. That was some good damage. Alright, we can keep doing that. Does this stack is the question. Yep, it does. <laughs> so we're going to get some insane crits going on here. I wish we could have them able to have the option to attack too, but it's alright. Uh, let's go finish him off. Oh, he has um, open vein also. Which is basically an attack that causes them to bleed. All right. You know what I should have done? I should have just bought like. Yeah, I don't need to clear that play. It's only one damage per turn. I'll save for like a two damage per turn or something like that. Um, what I should have done? I should have bought just like stacks and stacks of food so I can use that as healing since we don't have a healer. It's gonna cost a lot of money, but you know we're gonna make profit if we actually succeed here. Uh, let's just use this. And reduce the stress of our team members. So what's a bleed resistant? is isn't that high. So 49 damage compared to 5 to 11. Let's just do it. And yep, that was worth. Either way, it's, this fucker is going down next turn. Okay, see now we got to use it on her. There we go. And four damage. What the fuck? Is that even possible? All right. Let's see. What we got Buzz. A shovel. Good. See, I I knew that was gonna happen, Pyros. Uh, just didn't have to buy another shovel. Get a free one. So she's already fucked up. That makes me sad. <sighs> Do I really want to like try to fuck with these? Oh well, they've been good to me so far. We're not even going to be able to carry all the stuff, I doubt it. Because this is actually kind of a big level. Oh, here we go. That's the stuff I want to be carrying. This is why we're in this hellhole. This demented forest of death. Alright, good. No enemies. I don't want to fight this run. Like, I don't. Uh, I don't. Just not having to heal it is just the scariest thing ever. Okay, so I'm guessing... Here, let's have this guy open and yeah holy water works and he gets ruined scoundrel i think that increases chance of scouting yep i'm starting to get these um these buffs down oh fuck me i didn't see that trap okay he didn't get affected by it that's huge 
drop Jester. Should have a lot more torches. Dude, this level's not a small level at all. Uh, maybe I'm just over-exaggerating <laughs> to somewhat. Just because it's like so long, it makes it seem, you know, actually long. Well, as some, are, they're just like, you know, all bunched up in a square. Feh. Feh. How does that, how does that sound in real life? Okay, I can live with this. Oh, I can't live with that, though. Alright, if it bleeds all the way. Oh my god, max damage. Oh, he resists it. I was like, dude, the bleed's gonna get him. Oh shit. Okay, that's six damage crit. That's very weak, but. But. We don't need that shit. We need that, though. That was nice. Good job. Chester's doing a good job right now. Uh, she needs a f bandage, but you have to wait till you get on her turn to use the bandage. See, it's great out. That's our only bandage. And I think the bands are the only people that can really cause bleeding in this level. Alright, so at least this guy can shoot from back there. Not as much damage or as good, but it's something. It can shot shoot again. Oh, it makes him do less 25% less damage. That is probably... Can make him do one less damage, which isn't all that crazy. But the crit, the crit modification is pretty good. Let's just keep shooting his nipples. Um, maybe we'll do more damage. Doesn't seem like it though. But yeah, dim nits though. Okay, so our Hellion is still getting fucked over. Do I really? Okay, she needs a bandage before I forget. Do I? <laughs> I'm gonna go for him. There you go. Alright, big boy. Going down! Yeah, everyone's still doing really good. Feeling confident. We got a Hellion um, Bleeding Pendant. Plus 15% chance to bleed skills. That's plus 10% damage. What? What? That's an actual good guy item in this game? There's no, like, boon or, like, negative... There's no con to it, like, there's no negative... There always is a negative, like, trait to these, but this is, like, two great traits. I'm, I'm very confused. I'm very confused, Byros. What the fuck? Okay, then, let's try, uh, start our long journey back. And hopefully our Hellion can survive, because we don't get Hellions much. In order to, like, to keep her. Oh, motherfucker. Wait! How the fuck did his trap come up if, um... Alright. Whatever. Nothing really happened but him losing some sanity. And me losing the anti-venom.